Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. Last week Mao had her uh, little mini operation to remove the bump on her head. Uh, they thought it was a cyst. It was not. Um, we have not heard back yet from pathology so we don't know what it is either. Um, but today we've got to go back because Mao has got to get her stitches out. And Hooray. I, well, that probably sounds awful. Oh, it's not. But you're ready to get them out. Yeah, I mean it's it's, healed. It, yeah, it's actually healed really well. Mm -hmm. I've been impressed. Like from from last Friday to this Friday, like it looks really good. All right, let's go do that. It's really dreary day. So uh, Mao just got out and got her stitches out. Yeah. And pathology said they think it's nothing. Yeah, they had a name for it, but um, I forgot it in the process of scheduling my follow-up, follow-up. <laughs> they said uh, they think it's nothing, but just to be sure, they're going to send it off to a second pathology place that does specialized testing, just to make sure. But they don't think it's anything. But they'll know next week? Yeah, I'm supposed to call next week. Okay. Well, cool. Hopefully this um, saga of your life is over. I hope so. Because this was a, a pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, it was yeah. painful. Yeah. Um, cool. It's still pretty early in the morning, so um, I guess we'll grab maybe like an early lunch type brunch thing. Okay. And then we'll go home and get stuff done. Get stuff done. We'd actually went to a new place um, that we'd never been before for the lunch, or really, honestly, it was so early. I'm going to call it breakfast for the breakfast, and. Um, uh, it was pretty. It was pretty, especially yours, Mal. Like, yeah. you put blueberries on a plate and it just always looks good. <laughs> um, but you said it was just kind of... It was kind of... It was fine, but not anything, like, great, great. I, yeah, it wasn't... Mal wasn't, like, super, super wild. No. For me, personally, though, mine was just weird. Like, I've had... I don't know what Huevos Rancheros is, like, supposed to be. I've had it multiple times... And every time I've had it, it's been slightly different. Um, so I, I think it's just kind of a concept. And uh, no one really knows how to serve it. But this was the first time I've ever had it where it was served with just a big old stack of chips. And um, it made it a little difficult to eat. Also, the, ch the chips were a little stale and the avocado was hard as rock. And that made it... Eh. It was it was not a it was admittedly not a good first impression, so I don't know we might we might be back maybe at some point in the future. Um, anyway, after lunch or breakfast or whatever that meal was, we counted it as lunch though because we never had lunch. We just had a snack later. After whatever the meal was, uh, we came home and worked for a little bit. Then we needed a nap because I had um, stayed up late last night working on all the data storage stuff. And then this evening, we actually did a stream. Last week, we didn't do a stream because uh, Mao had just had the surgery, the incision done on her head, and she was really not feeling up to it. But, uh, you know, obviously, she's feeling a lot better. She has her stitches out. And uh, we did a stream this evening of The Stretchers. Uh, Nintendo reached out to me a week, week and a half ago, um, and said, hey, you know, we got this game. We're hoping, you know, some people will do a live stream of it. We have giveaway copies. And I was like, yeah, and it, this is a really interesting title because it's not developed by Nintendo, but it's, pu but it's published by Nintendo. And there's really not a ton, ton of games that Nintendo, like, actively publishes. Um, that's a little unusual, and the developer is actually the same developer behind uh, Little Nightmares, and then they also worked on um, some of the Little Big Planet games. But we got to play it tonight. I, I don't know how much we played... I mean, I know we played like three and a half hours, but um, I don't know how far we got because the game is so new that it's not even on howlongtobeat.com, so I'm not sure how long the game actually is. But it's really fun. Um, I was I was not nervous about it, but, you know, all I had to go on was a trailer. You know, Nintendo reaches out and it's like, hey, we published this game. Take a look. Do you want to do it for a live stream? And it's just a trailer. And I'm like, well, the trailer looks good. But there's like almost no reviews on the internet about it. No one 
they there this game was not marketed at all, which is really strange. And I guess they just really wanted, you know, us streamers, YouTubers to kind of handle the marketing aspect of it. But um, we played it tonight, and it was it was legit fun. I think it would be, it's it's intended to be a co op game, and I think it's much better co op. I don't think it would the some of the frantic fun is the physics engine and you and another player trying to work around that and also cooperate and um, you would lose some of that if you're playing single player. But as a co-op game, it's great. So it was a really good choice for Mao and me. So I don't know if they were just mass sending it out to brand ambassadors or if they chose us because of the dynamic we have. I don't know, but they chose correctly. That's what I'm saying <laughs> because it, it was it was actually a very fun stream. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. It was it's been a good day. Mouse feeling obviously so much better than last week, yeah. which is good because you were last week you were not no, great. Not good last week, <laughs> but now things are a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I'll talk more about the storage stuff soon as I get it done, but I'm not quite there yet. So hopefully in another few days I'll be in a good spot, but. We'll see what happens. Oh, and Mao picked up a thing. It's bubbles for the cat? It's catnip bubbles. It's bubbles, but the bubbles are catnip, so she already <laughs> she already lost it's them. It's so little. It is a very small bottle. But oh, um, over there. we're gonna there'll be a bonus video. It's been a while since I've released a bonus video of the vlog, but there'll be a bonus video with this vlog of uh, trying these out with the cats and seeing what they think of them. We'll see if they like Bubble nip. Oh my god. Look how tiny. It is a tiny bubble. Bubble nip. Very affordable too. We got that at uh, Walmart. Walmart for 95 cents. And I was like, that's much cheaper than I would expect catnip bubbles to be. I but, mean, regular bubbles are cheap. Yeah, but they're like, this is like a specialty product. It's regular bubbles with catnip in it. See, I'm the sap that you could sell that to for like $3 because I'd be like, I don't know. I have no idea. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?